MVP finalist. Of course, Patrick Mahomes winning it. I ain't gonna lie, it is what it is. Good race, but Pat Pat got it. Pat got it. <laughs> Take us was in the finalist for Office Player of the Year. Who are all the finalists? Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson. It was a tight race between them two. Pat Mahomes. Who? I think they will give it. I think they will give it to Justin Jefferson. I ain't gonna lie. Eckler did, Eckler did have a season. He did have a really crazy season. Shouldn't include running backs in my opinion. MVP should just be quarterbacks. Uh, I hear you, but when a running back have a crazy season, I think two thousand. He should be two thousand yards. He should be considered for. Uh, um, two thousand rushing yards. I think he should be considered for MVP. And if a, if a uh, receiver gets two thousand receiving yards, I think he should be considered for MVP. You know, I get you. Most valuable player in the league, but I think depending on the season, how historic the season was, I think it's, it's worth it's worth uh, considering. Comeback player of the year, Gino Saquon. Gino got it. I ain't gonna lie. They gonna give it to Gino. Oh, Saquon and C Mac is tough. Nick Bosa. Yeah, it's Nick Bosa. AP Offensive Rookie of the Year and Defensive Rookie. Oh, Brock Purdy. What y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? I. That's tough. This is tough. Brock Purdy, Kenneth Walker, and Garrett Wilson. I know Brock Purdy came in late, but what y'all what, what y'all think about that? Purdy overrated. Hey, undefeated. You know. Undefeated. Good passer rating. Efficient. Don't throw too many picks. Huh? I don't know. Any QB can be successful in that offense. Reasonable, but. Sheesh. A lot of people said the same thing with Tom Brady. You know? When he was with the Patriots. Because Patriots produced so many good backup quarterbacks. So many good backup quarterbacks. But at the end of the day, Brady's Brady. You know? He got all the rings. Olave robbed. I ain't going to lie. Garrett Wilson did better than Olave this year. Olave, Olave did good, but Garrett Wilson did better, in my opinion. I think Olave did better than Wilson. I think Brees Hall would be in this conversation, but... Kenneth Walker was the best rookie running back. And then Brock Purdy was the best rookie quarterback when it came down to it. Um, I guess it's, I guess it's a little interesting. A lot of it had Andy Dalton in QB. Garrett Wilson didn't have anybody special. I ain't gonna lie. I hear I hear you on that. That's 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 a good uh that's a good argument. But Garrett Wilson, he ain't he had no no bona fide starter or Hall of Famer. What's the squad? All right, let's check and see these uh Defensive rookie of the years. All right, defensive rookie of the years. This defensive rookie class was loaded. Like, loaded, bro. Bro, starters at every single position. Who's got like MVP? I think Pat Pat Mahomes got MVP. Zamir White was really the best. Wilding. Kobe Dean clears. He played He played well this year. I ain't gonna, I didn't pay too much attention to him, but I know I know there were, there were, you had Jack Sanborn, you had the, uh, the other linebacker. From the uh, from the uh, the Lions, um, who else? Who else with some good linebackers out there? Some young, some nice young rookie linebackers. I'm trying to think, I can't, I can't think off the top of the head, but I know every position every position had had some starters this year. James Houston, that's another one. That's another one. This 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 rookie class was nice. I ain't got a lot of. I think they're giving it the sauce. I think it's um. I think it's gonna be sauce. It's 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 arguable. Tariq had Tariq had the picks. He kind of slowed down though. I ain't gonna lie. He was he was he was going at a nice rate. He was going at a nice rate. He had the picks, but then he kind of slowed down. Sauce was sauce was pretty shut down though. Alante Taylor. How did he play this year? Deron Bland was a rookie. Why why did I forget that? Brisker. Oh Br Brisker Brisker pretty nice. I didn't really pay too much attention to him this year. I know he was nice in college, but I didn't pay crazy attention to him this year. But I know he was solid, and I know Collar Gordon was solid too. So I just had a big name coming into the league. I, I think I think that helps too, because a lot of these awards be popularity contests, but I think that's going to help him too. Petrie was kind of tough. Oh, no, facts. Facts. Petrie was nice too. Petrie, 
Um, what's a, what's another good shape? You got Petrie, Brisker, Kirby Joseph. Um, it's, it's it's some more rookie safeties out there. It's a few more. I just can't think of them. That's three. That was three starters right there. And Petrie, Petrie, he he went crazy. He think I think he had like a hundred something tackles, uh, five or six interceptions this year. So he did really good. I ain't gonna lie. Kyle Hamilton, yeah, that is another one. Kyle didn't really start the whole year. Daxton, how is Daxton Hill doing? I forgot about him. Is he, is he getting much much PT? Jordan Davis, the dog, most deaf. He gonna be he gonna be nice in the future. Very very nice. Very nice. I like Dax college tape. His, his college tape was fire. George Karloftis, Karloftis, Trayvon Walker, Hutchison. Like it, it, it was a decent amount of uh, defensive ends too. Uh, Louis and Nate, he got, he got potential. A potential. Wasn't he uh he started the year, but wasn't then he get injured and like wasn't he out for the season if I'm not mistaken? Damn, bro. It's, this is like the most loaded. I can't I, I don't know. Like I'm I, I feel like I'll be exaggerating sometimes, but like realistically, this is probably the most loaded rookie class I've seen in a long time. It's not Sine, it's seen. How you say it? I feel like I said it right. And that's a fire vid. Uh this rookie draft class versus last year's rookie draft class. That'd be a cool, uh, cool Madden vid. Commentate, narrate the um the uh the simulation. That'd be fire. Forgot Quay Walker. Oh, forgot about Quay Walker. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Nice linebacker. A lot of potential. A lot of potential there. Lewis Seen. Okay, good looks. Good looks. Jack Jones, Marcus Jones, Kobe Durant, uh, the other Kobe from the Seahawks, Kobe Bryant, yeah, Ojabo, <sighs> loaded, but yeah, yeah. As far as the uh, defensive rookie, I think I think they're gonna give it to Sauce. Is he is he the runaway defensive rookie of the year? No, I think this race is very close, but I think I think they gonna give it to him though. Jalen Tolbert for real. I know I asked you this the other day. What happened to Jalen Tolbert? Why didn't he get that much play time this year? Good race, but with a name like Sauce, you can't lose. <laughs> no, for real though. Yeah. I I agree. Kevontae Turpin. Wow. He was an undrafted free agent. That's tough. I ain't gonna lie, they need to use him more uh on offense, in my opinion. I think Cowboys need to use him more. Like when when Tony Pollard went down, immediately clicking my head, bro. Try some stuff with Kevontae Turpin. Why not? Both Jets players winning rookie of the years. Hey, that'd be that'd be cold for the Jets. Malik Willis. Uh Malik didn't really pan out. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how he does next year. Kenny, same thing. Kenny, Kenny was solid. Now, if they upgrade that old line, I think we can see more of Kenny potential. But yeah. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up. This is good, this is good conversation. Seahawks, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Seahawks had a fire draft class. Who who do y'all think who who draft class played out the best by the end of the season? The Seahawks or the Jets? Because initially they had the best two two uh draft classes. On draft night, I think the Jets had the best class. But when the season started, it was between the Jets and the Seahawks. I, I don't know which one I say. Derek Stingley gonna be better with the better coach. I forgot about Stingley. I forgot. That's crazy. He on the Texans too. I forgot. Little Paul. All right, let's see that. All right, pull up, pull up. Y'all got one minute. How many of y'all thoughts? Got depth in the Seahawks draft. Stingley got overshadowed by Sauce and Tariq. I think so, and I think just how bad the Texans were doing. The Jets, Jets defense turned up this year. So, you know, Texans defense, they were they were cool sometimes. And sometimes they were just terrible. So, And then uh, Seahawks made playoffs, so. Like, I think I think it was well known that the Jets were a competitive team. They just didn't have a quarterback position situated. Still had a good draft class. Oh, I can't wait for Calvin Austin to play next year. I ain't gonna lie. Matt Ariza, is 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 he gonna get back into the NFL? He probably goes to like the XFL or something. What's going on with him? What's go, what's, what's the what's going on with him? Kind of tough. Breeze versus K Nine. The Tariq versus Sauce is crazy. Not facts. Yeah, well, Seahawks, Seahawks won. Now, I know what he was accused of, but, like, is he, is, is, 
what's 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 the word on him being a, a NFL player or playing football at all? Or he's oh he or he got convicted, found as guilty, and he was not guilty. So he 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 should be back to playing football. If I'm him, I'm going to the XFL, about to go boom punts, and then go sign with a team in a uh in the off season. About to go go to the XFL for the for real quick. Showcase your uh your, your you know your your skills on TV real quick, and then the the betting the lottery begins for for Ariza. All right, let's let's let's, let's knock down a few a uh, few highlight videos real quick. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. It's meant to be, I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that, then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it, part of God's plan. 